So I want to make a quick video about the world of leverage. If you don't have leverage over a situation or your finances or uh, your political leanings uh, or whatever, um, then you're just not going to make things happen. It's a uh, it's a mostly evil world out there. Okay, I'm I'm going to tell you I. I hate to say that because I want to be an optimist and I want to uh, think that that most people are generally uh, good people. Um, that's just basically not true. I mean, you know, in my experience, anyway. So, you know, we've we've watched the uh, the events of Elon Musk uh, revealing what took place with the uh, the whole Hunter Biden laptop story. Um, do you think he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart or his belief in the uh, U.S. Constitution or the First Amendment? I'd like to think so, but no, I think it's uh, it's more about leverage. Uh, somewhere, somehow, he was being threatened in some manner, uh, basically probably by the uh, the establishment, uh, the rhinos and the, uh, the Democrat Party, uh, which is mostly evil. Um, and, uh, and so he needed some leverage, so he bought Twitter, and I don't think they ever thought he would go through with it, <laughs> and then when, when it all happened, uh, they didn't know, I mean, I, basically they didn't know what to do, and I'm sure he's been receiving all kinds of threats. If you do this, we're going to do that, you know, there's, so there's going to be retaliation, um, but there's no way he reveals uh, what he's revealing right now about the whole Hunter Biden story uh, unless he was backed into a corner. He had to be backed into a corner. Now, what that corner is, I don't know. I don't know. But I want you to understand that he felt he had to have some leverage. Um, and this is tremendous leverage. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, how many Democrats are going to... Uh, even believe what Elon's posting or pay attention to it? Uh, probably very few. Uh, it's going to continue to be the party of evil. Um, yeah, I even I even tweeted uh, Elon Musk today. I said, you know, Joe Biden supported Robert Byrd uh, and did his eulogy. Uh, the racist Robert Byrd. He, he, and, and both of them were... Uh, um, it's funny how everything a Democrat accuses you of uh, is what they're doing. And that's just... That'd be a rule of thumb. That... We should make that like a rule of thumb. Anything a Democrat accuses you of is what they are or are doing. Because <laughs> it's a given. I mean, you know, and everything that's being revealed in, in the whole universe. Um, same with uh, finances. I mean, we're looking at BlackRock right now. Um, you know, they felt they had tremendous leverage and they were going to uh, invest in ESG and uh, support the woke cause and then... Uh, DeSantis just blew him up. <laughs> I don't think the implications of that are going to come out for, well, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. They've locked up the funds on those real estate funds. Um, that's going to prove very interesting. Uh, who knows? I mean, this could be, I mean, because all it takes uh, sometimes is one one big, you know, withdrawal from, from an investment to basically show the emperor has no clothes. And uh, we saw that with FTX. Um, this should be show. This could be showing that BlackRock, even though they're the biggest, the biggest and the best, and you know, if you invest in BlackRock, you're gonna you're gonna do great. Um, and then four other states piled on, and so now we're seeing a, a massive withdrawal from BlackRock. Uh, do they have the liquidity? Do you understand leverage? Do they have the liquidity to cover this? I don't know. It's gonna prove very interesting to see what happens. I would love nothing better than to see BlackRock come down. I. I I think they're an evil institution, and uh, you know, I'm, and I'm I'm sorry to say that, but they're they're woke. Everything woke goes broke, right? Remember the statement: everything woke goes broke. Um, if if you're going to invest according to your political ideolo ideology, okay, you're not investing in the best interest of your investors, okay? So eventually, the whole system's going to collapse, okay? And and so now the whole Government and hey, check this out. I mean, oh my god, you want to talk about okay? So, I love Ruben. If you watch Dave Ruben on uh, he's on Rumble, YouTube, uh, locals, whatever, uh, he always has the statement, you know, 
you can't vote Democrat, but you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you know, praise the Republicans. And so the rhinos, and now I call them rhinos, Republicans in name only, and the Democrats, they're piling on. They're actually going to put more money into Ukraine. And then I saw that we're going to be shifting weapons. I mean, the globalists are getting desperate at this point. I'm just going to tell you, the globalists are getting desperate. Because now they're shifting weapons from Syria and uh, Iraq, um, you know, in places we've got weapons. Because... There's, there's nothing left. I mean, the Russians are destroying it all. <laughs> so they're, they're going to start shipping those weapon systems to Ukraine in, in a last-ditch effort to try to bail things out. It just ain't going to work. The Russians are just waiting for the ground to freeze. Do you understand that? And they're going to be coming across in massive numbers. Um, it's going to be them or the globalists. And uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of my friends, they say, well, you're rooting for the Russians. Well, I think the Russians are on the side of, of the individual. Um, they're fighting the globalists. If they were fighting the United States, I would say, oh, hell no. I mean, you know, we need to obliterate Russia. But no, they're fighting the globalists. And, and, and we all need to stand against what they're trying to do. I mean, you know, Charles, what is it, Charles Swab, that evil... Uh, man, I tell you, that guy, I, I, he even looks like something out of a, a Austin movie. Remember those? I mean, he looks like the, the evil mini or whatever. <laughs> I mean, you just look at him and you go, oh, that guy's, that guy's evil. He's, he's, he's talking about how China is the model for the world. We got to have China, the China, you know, so that we can have drones flying overhead. Stay in your house. Stay in your house. You cannot come out. You know, oh my God, could you imagine the dystopian future if we modeled China uh, uh, here in the United States? Oh man, I tell you, I, I don't even understand where all this is going. I just watch it in fascination. Like I said, I kind of like it. I keep saying I'm, I'm watching the world burn, you know. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to throw up a, just a quick video. I've got some, uh, I got, I was working tonight on my uh, hiking videos. Uh, outdoors with Kirk on Rumble, and uh, but yeah, I, I just, it's just it's just a lot of work, and I'm only one dude, and I got other things going on. I, well, leverage, okay. So here's another one. All right, so the uh, real estate person stole everything from my mother up in uh, Virginia, and and of course the executor of the estate was my mom's cleaning woman. Uh, whether they were in cahoots together, I don't know, or whether she was just completely incompetent. So you know, I kept telling. The cleaning lady to, to to basically you know take on the uh the um real estate person and she kept giving me excuses i mean, i came i've contacted her i've called her i've done everything i can she won't listen well she had no leverage right leverage would be get, you know hiring a lawyer or hiring somebody so yeah you know so now i'm looking and i got to get leverage and uh and so these are the things in life that you have to think about so how do you get leverage you know whether it it's investing and, and wisely, and I've tried to educate you on a lot of that stuff. By the way, silver is doing extremely well. I mean, I saw it tonight. It's it's up to 23-something, and uh, that's a huge jump. I mean, it was down at 17 not too long ago, uh, or 17 or 18, right around that ballpark. I mean, that's a huge increase when everything else is dropping. Um, so I'll just finish off the video right there. Now, I'm going to warn you, if you're in the stock market, you know, get your money out, uh, especially if you're with BlackRock. <laughs> I would be, I'd be pulling your money out of BlackRock, and what's the other one? There was BlackRock and Black something or other. I mean, I guess there's like two, they're, maybe they're like hand in hand. Uh, you need to be pulling your money out now, you know. If you've got too much money in, a, in one bank, um, pull it out. If Wells Fargo, oh my God, get your money out of there. Uh, you know, so I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you can just kind of sit back and go, well, I'm just going to do my job and not worry about what takes place in the world. No, no, the world is coming for you. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry that we all have to work 24 hours a day. You got to kind of, you got to watch what's going on in the world to plan where you're going to go. You know, I'm, I'm pretty well positioned here. I've got an ample supply of food. I got, I got uh, water filters. I've got everything I need. Um, I even shut my gas off. I talked about that in a previous video. I mean, I'm, I don't even have natural gas no more. I'm, of course, I live in Florida. 
Uh, we'll see how that works out this winter. I've got a couple of propane heaters and I've got electric heaters. So I'm just going to exist with my electricity. And I told um, uh, my gas company uh, to just go screw themselves because uh, they, were, they were screwing me. So, you know, that's the way it is. All right, so let's finish it off. So it's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida. Thank God I don't live in a Democrat state. Can you believe that all of the Democrats voted against the U.S. Constitution? They wanted to censor everything. They don't want you having free speech. And that's the First Amendment of the Constitution. That means that that oath that they took to support and uphold the U.S. Constitution meant nothing to them. Think about the integrity of those individuals. Every single Democrat in the U.S. Congress voted against or tried to circumvent the U.S. Constitution. You want to vote Democrat? Get the hell out of Florida. That's all I got to say. Peace out.